The focus of this video lesson is Exponential Automobile Depreciation, Part 3. Example 1. A car originally sold for $26,000. It depreciates exponentially at a rate of 5.5% per year. When purchasing the car, Richard puts $6,000 down and pays $400 per month to pay off the balance. After how many years will his car's value equal the amount he paid to date for the car? All right, so let's start by looking at our depreciation equation. So remember our equation for decay or depreciation here is y is equal to a times the quantity 1 minus r to the power of x, where a is the starting value, r is the depreciation rate, x is the time in years, and y is the value of the car. So we know here the car was originally sold for 26000 That's our value for A. We know that this was decreasing at a value of 5.5%. That's our value for R. So our equation is Y is equal to 26000 1 minus a 0 0.055 to the power of X. Now, this here is how it's losing value. So this is our depreciation. Now, Richard puts $6,000 down and pays $400 every month to pay off the balance. So we're going to create our expense equation. So the value that, or the amount that he spent, Y, is going to be equal to $400 per month. Um, now, $400 per month and $6,000. Now, we're going to have a little bit of an issue in trying to um, look at this directly. Um, let me explain. So our original equation here uses years. So in order to compare these two simultaneously, we're going to want to do a small conversion. So we have y is equal to 26,000, and we have... 1 minus our 0 0.055, and we're going to change the x to x over 12. Okay, so this equation will be in terms of a monthly depreciation. The other one is annual or yearly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to graph these two on the same grid for Desmos, that way we can easily determine that point in time in which they, they meet up, okay? So we're gonna take our expense equation and we're going to take our depreciation equation and we're going to graph them together. So our expense equation um, was 400X plus that down payment of 6,000 and our depreciation equation was 26,000 and then the 1 minus 0 0.055 for that 5.5 percent the power of x over 12. Now I'm going to take my settings and I'm going to scale this out to say 40 years and I am going to scale the value of the car to say um, 30,000. Okay. And I can see here that at 39 months, because um, that's our X, the value of the car um, and the amount spent on it are meeting here. Okay. So about 39 months. So we have our coordinates. Um, for that intersection, so let's put here, they intersect at about 39 comma 21,626, 21,626 and 69 cents, right, 21,626 and 69. Sense. And so the question was, remember, how many years will the value equal the amount he's paid to date? So remember, x is, val x is years and y is value. So our answer is going to be about, sorry, 
we're not doing years here, we're doing months because we did the conversion. So about 39 months. So a little over three years. Now it's your turn to try. Describe the situation above after four years. So tell me what it means for Richard after four years in terms of his expense versus his um, versus the value of the car. Give it a try.